Hello students, today we are going to solve the question answers of the lesson synthetic fibers and the plastics. But first of all we are going to solve the questions which are there in NCERT and definitely after solving these questions we are going to move to certain uh, uh, questions which are not there in NCERT but uh, may prove useful for you people. Uh, so to begin with the question answers from NCERT. Now the first question is explain why some fibers are called synthetic, explain why some fibers are called synthetic. We know we have discussed this thing that fibers are of two kinds the natural one and the synthetic one. Now obviously when we talk about the natural fibers like uh, take the example of the silk, wool all these fibers are all the fabric are made up of the substances the raw material which is used over here is taken from the either plants or the animals and that is the reason these are known as natural resources. But when we talk about the synthetic fibers the uh, raw material which is used to make synthetic fabric or fiber is not taken from the plants and animals not taken naturally and so it all these are known as synthetic fibers. Now uh, synthetic fibers uh, do not uh, uh, I am saying that we do not use the natural thing but in rayon we all have studied the wood, uh, wood pulp is also used. So synthetic and semi synthetic fibers are there but when we talk about the synthetic fibers then definitely these are made up of petrochemicals. So the question was why the synthetic uh, explain why some fibers are called as synthetic. So some fibers are known as synthetic because these are made by the uh, when by you by using certain chemicals. So we will just write the answer. Some fibers are known as synthetic as these are made by men by using I did not divide the board using certain chemicals. Now I said most of the time these chemicals are what petrochemicals. So most of the time the petrochemicals are used. Now what else is the reason the simple thing is that these the fibers when the synthetic fibers are made the raw material is not taken from the plants or the animals the simple sentence and these are made by the petrochemicals if you want to write the example. So example can be nylon, polyester etc. We have read this in detail so this is the first question why certain fibers are known as synthetic the simple reason is the raw material which is used to make these fibers are not taken from the plants and animals and so it is uh, these fibers are known as synthetic fibers or man made fibers. Now we will move to the second question now second question is mark tick or mark or tick and the bracket tick is there the correct answer. Now rayon is different from synthetic fibers because they are asking that rayon is different from synthetic fibers because A it has a silk like appearance too but then many fibers have got silk like appearance 
uh, it is obtained from wood pulp definitely this is the reason why the rayon is different from the other fibers because rayon just now before explaining this that why certain fibers are known as synthetic fibers I said this point also that when we talk about rayon, rayon is a semi synthetic fiber why because the uh, the material which is used is wood pulp material to make rayon is wood pulp that is the reason why rayon is different from the other material rayon is different from other material this is a question number 2 definitely 2 and I will just write because it is it is made up of it is made up of wood pulp Now we will move to the question number 3 and question number 3 is fill in the blanks with appropriate words, fill in the blanks with appropriate words. So this is question number 3, fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Now just we will have a look on these, fill in the blanks. Yeah, the first one is synthetic fibers are also called dash or dash fibers. Same thing which we were discussing now that uh, synthetic fibers are also known as uh, the uh, which kind of fibers? Man uh, made, not ma, it is men made fibers, isn't it? So they are asking. Uh, synthetic fibers oh two dashes are given so synthetic fibers can also be known as dash and dash so it can be known as artificial fibers and can be known as man made fibers so the first the number is a it is not first it is a so synthetic fibers are also known as man made fibers uh, the question is like this only man made or artificial artificial fiber. So the synthetic fiber is known as man made or artificial fiber because uh, all these fibers are made by men by using petrochemicals and uh, not by the substances which we obtain from the plants and the animals that means the natural resources and that is the reason the synthetic fibers are known as uh, man made fibers or even the as I have written over here artificial fibers. Now the B of the fill in the blanks we are discussing now fill in the blanks now we are going to discuss point number B. B is synthetic fibers are synthesized from raw materials called the first point in which I am explaining whatever that is the next question uh, so automatically it is also explained you know uh, so this also just now many many a times I told that synthetic fibers are made up of what synthetic fibers are made up of petrochemicals and not by the substances which we get naturally from the uh, nature or the natural resources. So synthetic fibers are made up of petrochemicals. Now we will move to the third one. So uh, first is man made or artificial fibers and second is petrochemicals, second is petrochemicals now we will move to the third one. Now third is, uh, is uh, like synthetic fibers plastic is also a we know that all these synthetic fibers are made up of for polymers. What is the meaning of polymers? Long chain of monomers. Now what, what, are, what is the meaning of monomer? The smallest unit or the small unit of the uh, like fabric monomers they combine uh, and the, the this process is known as polymerization and when monomers combine they form polymers. Poly means many uh, and the mers the small units the many small units combine or they, they, they get you know 
uh, bind together N2 and they get bonded together N2 and and polymer is formed. So the question number C is like synthetic fibers plastic is also made up of so we have discussed this that plastic is also a polymer it is also made up of polymers and we have discussed that how the monomers they combine to make the polymers and uh, these small monomers join and this process to form polymer and this process is known as polymerization. So uh, even we have discussed that the, the, these monomers can combine in different ways different arrangements can be there uh, say for example the simple arrangement the which is known as linear arrangement and the next one can be the cross linked arrangement in which the, uh, the, the monomers are combining from all different ways. Now, we will see the okay only three uh, fill the blanks are given now we will talk about the question number fourth and question number fourth is give examples which indicate that nylon fibers are very strong they are asking they are saying that give examples which indicate that nylon fibers are very strong. So nylon is strong how do we come to know that nylon is strong? Uh, so children uh, when we talk about the climbing groups, the parachutes all these things are uh, you know in this nylon is used. We all might have seen nylon ropes. Why these climbing ropes or the ro ropes are made up of uh, nylon? Because these uh, rope becomes very strong. Why it becomes very strong? Because the material from which it is made that means the nylon ropes are made up of nylon. So this nylon is very very strong and that is the reason that even the climbing ropes, the ropes which are used to climb the mountains. So it is also used to make uh, the climbing ropes and the parachutes. So it proves that the, these ropes are very strong that means the nylon fiber is very strong. And even we have discussed about one experiment that if we take the thread and uh, nylon fiber and the iron fiber and we try to put the weight. So the weight uh, required to break nylon will be more uh, means more weight will be required. So uh, the example can also be taken as when we know when you want to compare. So the fibers of different fabric can be taken and to that the weights can be added and can be compared that which uh, one is more stronger which one the one which breaks faster will be obviously the uh, weaker one and the one which uh, uh, remains till the end will be the stronger one. So we will be talking about question number 4 now. And the fourth question is uh, give examples which indicate nylon fibers are very strong. So uh, how can we say because the nylon is used, nylon is used to make ropes or rather I should say climbing ropes ropes climbing ropes then uh, parachutes so it proves that uh, we know that these material has to be very strong and when uh, these materials are made by nylon that means why it is made so uh, the reason simple reason is that nylon is very very strong. So always remember always I say this thing that I am not writing the answers in the complete sen uh, sentences M many a times I write the gist of the answer many a times I just write few important words of the sentence and the half sentences also I write many a times. So it is not the thing that the complete sentence I am uh, writing so nylon is used to make so please. Uh, you need to frame the sentence. 
now we'll move to the next question which is question number uh, 5 explain why plastic containers are favored for storing food they are saying they are asking the question is that why the plastic material is used to make or to, uh, to sorry to store the food we have read the plastic uh, uh, properties in detail we know that plastic is cheaper plastic is very lightweight plastic is you know it doesn't react with the chemicals it doesn't react with many of the substances that means it is one of the uh, non reactive uh, substance it doesn't get dissolved it doesn't melt easily and even the uh, when we talk about the eatables when eatables are kept in the plastic it doesn't react with the eatables isn't it it doesn't corrode so all these uh, reasons are there that uh, why the uh, plastics are or the plastic bottles jars containers are used uh, in the kitchen why do we keep the food items in the uh, you know jars of the or the uh, boxes of the or the uh, you know uh, the things uh, uh, which is made up of plastic why do we use plastic for eatables so all these are the reasons why the plastic have following properties which makes it favorable to store food items so what are the properties it is cheap while explaining this, I have explained that if you compare the price of the uh, plastic tiffin and the steel tiffin, so definitely steel tif steel tif uh, steel, uh, stainless steel tiffin is more costlier than the uh, plastic one. Even we talk about the bottles, we talk about the other substances, other objects also, the plastic is the cheaper one. So, it is cheap, it is light just i gave the example that fill two bottles one made up of plastic and uh, the other made up of uh, the metal and fill the bottle and try to hold you will understand which one is lighter and obviously we know we have discussed that the plastic bottle is lighter and so it is easy to carry the plastic bottle then do not react do not melt, do not corrode uh, all these uh, things all these qualities I should say make this very favorable what else can we write it is easy to clean also easy to clean or maintain then it is very strong is strong so all these I can write more about this that it does not react with the chemicals it does not react with the no that means the, the basic thing is that it does not react much it is in in, in react like it does not react much and uh, that is the reason the food uh, items can be stored in the uh, plastic containers now uh, we need to move to the next question but before this i will have to dust the board so please note this and then we'll be discussing the next question now we will talk about the next question and the next question is question number six so the question number six is or i should write answer answer number six so before that we need to read the question question number six 
give the difference between the thermo settings and the thermoplastic. So, here we need to write the difference between the thermo settings and the thermoplastic. This difference also we have done while the discussion while discussing the chapter. So, the difference between they have asked the difference between thermo settings. So, thermo settings and thermoplastic. So, thermo setting and thermoplastic that day we wrote thermoplastic uh, that side and thermo setting was this side, but now it is asked in the equation as thermo setting and thermoplastic I wrote thermo setting first. So, thermo setting plastic is what it is a kind of a plastic which cannot be again I will be writing in just I will not be writing the complete sentences. So, thermo setting is what it cannot be reshaped it cannot be removed, it do not become soft on heating is not it. So, thermo setting is it do not or can not be reshaped can not be remolded and can and do not become soft, do not become soft on heating, it do not become soft on heating. Now, uh, we will talk about thermoplastic, it is just opposite to that. So, can be reshaped. It can be remolded, can be remolded and can and becomes soft on heating. It becomes soft on heating. So, these are the two different example uh, we need to write these are the different points characteristic features of thermal setting and thermoplastic. So, thermoplastic is the one which can be reshaped again again it can be reformed the shape the suppose one thing is made and again it can be melted and again certain other things other object can be made from this. So, this is the way how thermoplastic can be used and reused many a times, but when it comes upon thermo setting, thermo setting cannot be reshaped, it cannot be reformed, it cannot be remolded or it cannot be you know it does not become soft on heating. Now, uh, the uh, example if I want to write, so we have discussed the examples also, example is PVC and polythene. And here Bakelite and melamine. Now, this was the difference between the two the thermoplastic and the thermo settings. Now, we will move to the next question, and that is question number 7. So, what is the question number 7? explain why the following are made up of thermo setting plastics. They are asking that why certain things are made up of thermoplastic and why certain things are made up of thermo setting. So, if we are choosing certain material uh, say for example, cable if you are making cable from one particular plastic. So, what is the reason behind that? So, the question goes like that explain why the following are made up of thermo setting plastic a plastic saucepan handles and electric plugs switches and plug boards. 
so first one is the pen handles a is pen handles now the question is that, that why the pen handles and the electric plugs electric switches electric boards are made by thermosetic plastic so properties i have written over here and this thing i have discussed i have, I, have, I have told i have told many a times that uses of any substance depends upon the property of that substance or properties of that particular substance so the thermosetting plastics uh, property is that doesn't uh, reshape it doesn't remold it doesn't become soft on heating and even it is a uh, uh, i can write over here that it is a bad conductor of heat and it is a bad conductor of electricity also and that is the reason when we talk about the uh, kitchen uh, appliances the handles of the cooker the pen it is made up of bakelite it is made up of bakelite why it is made up of bakelite because it is what it can it doesn't become soft uh, i will have to write doesn't here uh, just wait so handles here i have to write do not become soft do not become same thing they are asking soft do not become soft and it is bad conductor of heat bad conductor of heat obviously we do not want the handle to be hot a uh, bad conductor of heat we do not want the pressure cooker's handle or the pen's handle to become or the iron's handle the iron uh, handle to become hot along with that the iron but we need definitely iron we want the iron body of the iron to become hot we want the pressure cooker to become hot we want the uh, pen to be hot i mean when we heat it should be uh, heated properly but the handles shouldn't be uh, heated it should get warm it should it shouldn't become hot so that is the reason why bakelite handles are made because bakelite is the one which will not become soft on heating it will not melt on heating i can write even this do not melt on heating so it do not become soft it do not melt uh, so when the pressure cooker will be heated when the iron will be heated the body rest the whole body will be heated but only the handles will not become warm because it is the bad conductor it is made up of the substance which is bad conductor of heat and it will not melt also it will not become soft also it will remain as it is now the second b they have given and there they have written uh, electric plugs and electric i'll just write the electric switches or plug electric plugs and etc now again what is the thing the two things will be uh, same that doesn't become soft when electric current uh, is passed you know in them and best is what that are because as i got because it is bad conductor of heat and electricity now this point includes everything and when i'm talking about the current i'm talking about the current electric plugs means i'm talking about the current that when the current is passed uh it doesn't it, it will not carry current in this why because it is bad conductor of electricity but why what is a need to write heat obviously when current will be passed the second effect of the current that is that it will become uh, uh, the the substance will become hot also so in that case so case also it won't melt so uh, the reason behind the use of bakelite or why bakelite is used in making electric switches electric plugs electric board is simple and it is the reason is that it is the bad conductor of heat as well as bad conductor of electricity
and uh, as uh, repeatedly i am saying this that uses of the substance totally depends upon the property so the property is like that the property is that it is a bad conductor of heat it is bad conductor of electricity and that is the reason why these are or why bakelite is used to make why this is used is used to make electric switches plugs and even the handles of the kitchen appliances or the uh, Now maybe depends on the pressure cooker. Now we'll move to the next question, the question number eight. Categorize now. First of all, uh, before writing the answer, I need to uh, dust the board. So please note this point, and then we will move to next question. That is question number eight. <coughs> 